Well, despite his increasingly popular presidential campaign, vandals have spray-painted racial slurs near Barack Obama's campaign headquarters in Longview, Texas, proving that even while winning more delegates, he's having a tough time winning over people that talk like this here. <laughs> Stephen Harper claims he's only just heard about a million-dollar insurance bribe he may somehow have authorized to influence a House of Commons vote, a potential criminal code violation. When asked where this sits on his platform of accountability, Harper asked, is there audio tape of me talking about accountability? Canada's top general, Rick Hillier, claims the Taliban sees discussion about Canada's role in Afghanistan as a sign of weakness. According to Hillier, public debate over whether to be at war has no place in democracy. <laughs> the U.S. Supreme Court has reviewed the 19-year-old Exxon Valdez oil spill case. If Exxon's fined $2.5 billion in punitive damages, the price of oil will go up. And if they're not and they avoid the fine, the price of oil will go up. <laughs> A British medical study shows placebos are a better choice over antidepressants, which have been proven ineffective. Unless you want to increase violent behavior in school shooting sprees, in which case they're essential. <laughs> Canada's Federal Court of Appeal has ruled against the Conservative government ending the barley monopoly held by the Canadian Wheat Board. Thrilled that somebody could defeat the Conservatives on something, Stéphane Dion applauded the decision like this. <laughs> and said, it is good, because I like sandwiches, and barley is a nice grain. <laughs> and now, now it's time for Tax Time Tip-Offs. Today was the last day to contribute to your RRSP, or Royal Rip-Off Sucker's Pension. <laughs> Make sure you've got a low income by your retirement age, as you'll be paying tax on withdrawing those RRSP savings. It's the government's way of planning for you to be poor. This has been Tax Time Tip-Offs. Google will provide San Francisco's homeless with their own phone number and voicemail. The most requested outgoing messages are, I'm not home right now, duh. <laughs> and also, for spare change, press one. American conservative William F. Buckley has died at age 82. The news of Buckley's passing tasted awful, but it worked. <laughs> Sort of a cough syrup thingy. Uh, with this winter's 50-year record cold ice and snow, NASA has hard evidence that global temperatures have dropped enough to wipe out all future appearances of Al Gore. <laughs> and General Motors Vice Chairman Robert Lutz has called global warming a crock of sh... Well, you know, excrement. <laughs> and if he's right about that, by summertime, things are going to smell pretty bad. And this just in, RCMP officers in British Columbia seized Canada Post uniforms from a counterfeit ring out of Newton, B.C. The ring targeted people who like to dress up like postmen. Weird. Well, that's our show for tonight. Have a great week, everybody. See you next Friday. Thanks for watching.